Let's talk about Gecko Mag releases. Let's go. Hello friends, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here with another Nerf mod video. Although again, technically not Nerf because it's another Gecko upgrade update video. Today we're going to be talking about the Gecko mag releases and this video is long overdue because both of these mag releases have been available through my shop for a long time and they've also in its bare version have been on Thingiverse for a while. I'm going to link all of this in the description. Alright, so first things first, initially the Gecko doesn't even have a mag release. So as you can see on the picture right here, the original design just has the mag detent in the back and you just push in the magazine and an internal hook just holds it and you just pull it out and you just bend that hook backwards and that's how the initial design works. Which works totally fine, totally great. However, there have been a bunch of mag releases flying about just because a lot of people, myself included, like to have a mag release on the blaster. It, if it's just for function and just for the sort of the coolness factor of being able to do this, I don't know. However, it's quite nice that they are there. So if you're interested in Gecko mag releases, grab yourself a cup of tea because in this video we're going to be looking at the three mag releases that are out there or at least the three that I know of and I've tested all three of them and I'm going to tell you what the differences are and why you might want either one of them or none of them at all. So we're going to be talking about the Warrior Wasp mag release which is also known as the Ambidextrous mag release and has been in my shop for some time which is this one. We're going to be talking about the Adia mag release, which is also known as the Lever mag release, which is this one right here, and has been on a bunch of geckos that I've built, and is also going to be available in my shop from now on, officially. It has been available for a long time, I just haven't listed it yet. And then we're going to be talking about the push button mag release, which is also out there, and I've also couple, I have a couple of versions right here. Problem is, I don't have one installed in a blaster, so I'm just going to be using this. The push button mag release works by just pushing the back here and then does the same thing release the mag i just don't have a built one of the push button right now and i explain to you in a second so this video is going to require a lot of me switching between the blasters to point out the differences and everything and so that i don't have to readjust the focus all the time i'm going to flip the camera upside down and so you guys be looking at the table and off we go all right so here we are with the geckos on the table we have the worry wasp mag release we have the idea let's call it a lever mag release right here and the push button one is missing and because it's missing i want to start with this one right off the bat so you know why it's missing the original design you can see a picture right here uh works internally with a rubber band and so therefore it really depends on what kind of rubber band you have available and all that and i i'm not the biggest fan of rubber bands because it means that it's very finicky to set up and to get right. It also has a lot of potential, on the other hand, to sort of tune to your, um, you know, perfection, to your standard. But it's not just like, okay, here's a spring, install it there and it'll work and it'll always work. It's like, yeah, rubber band three times, four times, six times, I don't know. And um, I'm working together with the designer on a different spec version that will use a fitted spring similar to this trigger return spring but at the moment we are not done yet therefore this ain't here so the other thing about the push button mag release as i said the push button mag release works by pushing this in okay so what you need to do is in order to access that you kind of need to get back here and push on there which is cool because it works left and right but it also has a problem actually too Number one, if your hands are not as big as mine are, this motion here might not be as easy. It's already a stretch for me. But the other thing, and that's the bigger problem that I figured in my testing, you're kind of letting go of the grip in order to get out here. As you can see, not holding on to that grip anymore, kind of just clamping onto the gecko right here. And if I get my trigger finger off like this, it's really not stable. And so when you're running around and when you're doing stuff, trying to get here and this, you might accidentally drop your gecko, which happened to me in during the testing. I'm sad I don't have this on video. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of, this is a little bit odd, uh, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of the push button mag release. However, when we have a full spec uh, version of this, this might return to the shop for different reasons. Spoilers. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the two ones that are on the table right now. 
this let's start with this one the original design is by Wario wasp and is on thingiverse so the links are in the description i have fully licensed uh, this for my shop so i'm allowed to sell these and you have seen this around because that has been listed in my shop for quite some time um this one is the idea mag release or the lever mag release and I'm also licensed to sell these and this one has also been available through my shop however it's only been officially listed this week but as you have seen like there's a bunch of blasters that already have this because i keep telling people look there's that one do you like this so now everyone who was always on one of which one to use either that one or that one here's your comparison video right away um so let's start with this one first off this is not the original Roy wasp design i have altered this part of the mag release for two reasons number one for comfort and number two for function and so it is more comfortable when you push onto this and it works more reliably um so if you if you want to print this and the link for the original thing of us version it works great it does work great this one just works better so if you want to get it from my shop there you go for those of you who've never seen this the way this works is you push this backwards like so and that releases the magazine so with the original, that is an original Gecko magazine, this even gravity drops. So I pull here, and there we go. I can do this on both sides, which is why it's called an ambidextrous mag release. Uh -huh. And that's the function of it. Internally, all it does is like this piece pulls back the hook that holds the magazine. And that's it. There's one spring in there and that's all the setup. So the function, however, though, is you kind of have to get your knuckle up here and then pull backwards. So it's it's not like an upwards motion. It's like an up and then back. And this is something you got to learn. Um, initially, I always just wanted to go to go like up here and push this up, but nothing is going to come of that. You really have to go up and then back. And I find it works best if you use that knuckle of your thumb to get up here and hook that in here and then push this back. And there we go to the first problem of this mag release. Um, it is great and everything. However, if your hand is not as big and your fingers are not as long, you're not going to reach this with that knuckle. You're just going to reach it with that tip, if so. And then you might not have enough force to push this open. So my girlfriend has smaller hands than I have. And she, like, when she holds a gecko like this, she just about gets up here with the tip of her thumb. And it's really uncomfortable and she really can't sort of push this backwards. For me, this is not really too much of a trouble. The other thing is, like, if you're someone who wants to have the gecko or your blaster pointing at whoever you are shooting while reloading, this requires a really long stretch. Um, I don't. I always sort of move this out of the way, reload here, make sure to reload and go back into sort of, you know, shooting position. But I wanted to point this out. If you're someone who wants to have, like, your aim, don't lose your aim. You really got to stretch this and learn how this how to work this. I know how to work this because I have played with this mag release for a couple of months. So I'm just saying that this requires some getting used to. The very, very good thing about this is it instantly, as this is designed, it is left or right-handed. You don't have to change anything. It is right there. And it has a very slim profile. So as you can see here, like the gecko doesn't become any wider than these screws actually already are. And therefore, it is a very, very low profile. And the way it's designed is also really great for when you're holstering it because you're not going to get, um, you know, hooked on any of your gear, really, because that is really, you know, it's going to be easy to just hook it somewhere without, you know, getting tangled in your gear whatsoever. So that is this mag release. Pros and cons of that right there. Um, let's go to the idea mag release. And spoilers, this is my favorite. So with the idea mag release, same thing. The original files are available on Thingiverse. I'm going to put a link in the description as well as to the original Y Wasp files. But I have altered these, so I've altered these. The files that I have available in my shop, the printed versions that you get if you buy this mag release from me, are different from the Thingiverse files, though. Idea and I spent some time tweaking this after I did a lot of testing on this one because I really liked how it works. I did a lot of initial testing, and so we changed a bunch of things starting from the design to the functionality of it a little bit. So these will be different than the ones that aren't thinking of us. And so, yeah, if you have your own printer, you want to print it, check out the link in the description. If you want to have those, you can buy these separately or obviously within your Gecko Blaster kit. So 
This mag release essentially does the same thing. This pulls back the hook that then releases the magazine. However, it does it in a different way. It is a lever and now the motion is up and not back. So when you look here, you kind of push this up in order to release that magazine right there. And same thing. So it's a gravity drop on that magazine. But the function of this is completely different because you're not pushing this back, you're pushing this up. And that comes with an advantage. It is a lot more comfortable like this. Even I'm used to using this. This is a lot more comfortable. And um, now when you have smaller hands, smaller fingers, you can always use this. So again, the example, my girlfriend's with her smaller hands. She has no trouble using that mag release. Nice and easy. No trouble whatsoever. It's also if you're pointing this at your target and you just want to engage in that even if you just get your tip of your finger on there it still engages the mag release and it still works which is what that one doesn't so this i personally find a lot nicer um in this configuration this setup as you can see it's only right-handed of course you can flip it i can print the parts differently so you have the lever on the other side so for a left purely left-handed setup or you can have two levers on either side for an ambidextrous setup, which is also a great thing to do. It uses the same, uses a little bit more hardware because these two parts have to go together, but it uses the same hardware as the Gecko. So it's a heat insert, a 30 millimeter M3 screw, and then there's one spring in here, which is actually the same as the catch. The one downside to this is it is a little bit bigger. So the profile is a little bigger. And even if um we were to make this smaller which we totally can it still has this problem that this kind of sticks out so if you are going to holster this so this is a right-handed setup if i were to holster this i would holster it on my right hand side of the body which means this will get caught on the gear or could potentially get caught on the gear now the problem with this is the way this is set up and printed this is fully stable and functioning if it's pushed upwards that's how it's meant to be used but if you push this down that way, you will break the arm here. So if you were to pull or push or push this way, you have a good chance of breaking this right here. And I've seen it happen, which is why I you know, like to point this out. If you're using your Gecko as a secondary blaster that is holstered to either your vest or your leg holster or whatever, this might not be the choice for you. This might be the better choice because it has less chances of getting stuck or tangled. And even if it does, you're not actually that easily going to break this off, I think. But uh, for me, I don't, I don't really play with the Gecko as a secondary. I play with the Gecko as a primary. Our game types here in Germany are a little bit different. And I honestly hardly ever use my secondary um, i'll make sure i have enough darts on my primary and when i run out i run out and that's our games are really quick paced so if i'm out of all my magazines that fit into the, my primary blaster the game is probably over anyways so i really don't mind this so since i have this as my primary blaster i don't really have the problem of holstering this and therefore i choose this one over that one at any given time because it's so much more comfortable you gotta ask yourself if you want this or that you gotta ask yourself what's your play style how are you gonna play with your gecko what are you gonna do if you end up holstering the blaster a lot and running around with it in the holster i would recommend going for this one if you use a gecko as a primary like i do and want to have the most comfort i'd recommend going with this one so all of these mag releases, that one, that one, and the push button mag release have one problem altogether. And that is if you're running a really high power spring and you have a lot of vibration in your blaster and the spring that you choose for either mag release or the rubber band that you use is too weak, you have a chance of dropping your magazine after firing just because there's so much force in this system. But that only happens with the standard magazines or the worker magazines. Yes, there will be a follow-up video about magazines, different types of Gecko magazines and why you should use or you want to use which one. Um, I'm just sort of pointing this out there right here. This is a standard Gecko magazine. This is the Idea mag magazine. And this is the Worker magazine. And they all interact with these mag releases a little bit different, which is why... Uh, these two videos actually go hand in hand, but I didn't want to make it too long. So I'm just pointing this out right now. 
the Adia Magalies was designed in combination with this magazine. So this, you cannot physically pull this out. It doesn't drop whatsoever. However, if you pull this, it's a gravity drop. If I insert the original Gecko magazine into here, I can pull this out, sort of with reasonable force, and it will just drop as it does. If I enter the worker magazine, I can also pull this out with reasonable force. This won't drop because the worker mag is a slightly different size, but that will be the Mac comparison video. Um, I just wanted you to see that if you choose this mag release with this magazine, that actually goes together really well. Both of these files are on Thingiverse, so I can recommend this a lot. There's some other uh, shenanigans to this magazine, but look at the magazine comparison video for that. If you're using this mag release, um, this is fairly solid. I can still pull it out, have a gravity drop. So with this one, and it's the design of the magazine as well, I can't really pull this out. It's very solid, but it drops as it should. And with the worker mag, I can pull it out and it doesn't gravity drop because of the magazine. So as you've seen, both of these mag releases work with all three types of magazines. Again, the difference between the magazines will be pointed out in the magazine video to follow this mag release video. All right, everybody. So that's it for the comparison of these mag releases. I really hope this was helpful for you. I really hope I could get you some insight into the function and the way these work. And so you could figure out for yourself which one you actually want to use. So if you have your own printer, the basic files, the initial thing about those files, links are in the description. Shout out to all designers. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys for your work. The updated Warrior Wars mag release as well as the updated Adia mag release are available through my shop. So listings are in the description as well. You can buy them separately or of course, if you want me to build you a gecko, you can add them to your personal gecko. Another quick thing, if you have the printer but don't have the hardware, you can get the hardware kits for both of these mag releases on my web shop as well. So link for that is also in the description. Whew, that was quite a lot about mag release. I don't know how many times I said the word mag release in this video. It's ridiculous. Two more mag release, mag release. And so... Uh, as always, please like, share and subscribe and all the jazz. It would help me out a ton if you go check it out. And as I said before, there's going to be a follow-up video talking about the different magazines and why you should use which one and all that sort of things. So make sure to check out that follow-up video when it comes about. Make sure to check out the links as mentioned. And until I see you next time, happy modding, happy nerfing, love and sunshine.